Okay, so I'm going to attempt to make um, liquid soap for the first time. Um, and here I have my water, just plain water, and potassium hydroxide there, flakes. I'm going to add the water to the water. Now liquid soap is a bit different than, um, than the other type of cold process. This is a cold process liquid soap method that I'm using and I kind of have to, you always have to step away from your lie. I always measure at least in arms. I, I spit. <sighs> I'm losing my words. I, uh, I stir at least in arms like the way, especially at the very beginning. Now, if there's any little crunchy sounds, keep going. But this one's clearing up, but it's very, very hot. So now we have to wait. My uh, oils, which are a majority, 95% are liquid, um, are heating up too. So when they're both the same temperature, we'll come right back. Okay, I'm back now. Um, now that these have had a little bit of a chance to cool, they're still quite warm. Um, but I'm going to add some honey to this one. The soap is going to be unscented, but I want it to have... Um, that all of the wonderful properties that honey brings um, and then I can just scent them however I want them. These are for gifts for Christmas. Um, so we'll just see, I'm going to put about a tablespoon in there and see what happens. So like I said, this is my very first time. So forgive me if things go awry. I tried the hot process method with this and it didn't work for me. I was very disappointed in the results and then I had all this so potassium hydroxide I didn't know what to do with because it just wasn't my cup of tea. I just couldn't do um, with it what I'd hoped to. There's a little piece of um, uh, beeswax in there. I'm not going to worry about that. It's pretty warm. It'll probably look at that. It's making it a little bit of an amber color so it's burning. This is warm enough to, to uh, burn it. I wanted a I wanted a golden uh, shower gel, so this is exactly what I wanted. Um, I think some of it I will scent with um, banana, some of it with coconut, um, just some of those wonderful summer scents um, to kind of beat some of the wintertime blues, um, I think, with this. And of course, you know, um, whatever my friends like, that's what I'll... I will send it as too. But for me, I'm going to definitely do some banana and some coconut scents from my own kitchen. That is a nice orange color. I'm just going to give us some more light so you can see better what's going on. All right, hopefully that's a wee bit better. So you see it's almost an orangey here. Yeah, it's like an orangey, um, an orangey color that the honey turned, the potassium hydroxide. All right, so I'm going to get my handy dandy stick blender. And we're going to try to get this started. It's a pot of buying. Okay, so it's mixed. This is my plug. All right, so we're going to mix for the lye slowly and carefully into. going to start the stick blender up until we've got it all incorporated. Look at that nice pretty honey color and hopefully we'll end up with a lovely amber clear soap. Oh, it's actually saponifying a lot quicker than I thought it would. Rather, it's going to saponify over the next 24 to 48 hours, and it should end up being kind of like a, a thick, thick paste, which then will dilute. Look at that, it's already bubbles. I'm definitely going to have 
to learn how to splice my videos together for this one. I don't think my phone battery is going to last that long. actually already soap. Look at how crazy that is. It wouldn't have bubbles like that if it wasn't already soap. I don't think my uh, cold process um, sodium hydroxide soap's ever done this. This is really, really neat to see. Now, I'm not going to add glycerin and all of those things that um, some of the other tutorials add. I'm just going to follow um, the cold process method. I have a Facebook, I'm on a Facebook page and this is how they do things and I thought it was brilliant when I saw somebody else do it on another YouTube channel. So if you want to learn how to do this, you can subscribe to or ask to be added to um, a cold process soapers uh, Facebook page and there's lots of people besides myself that can also help you. Now I'm just going to have a look here and I'm liking that. That's a light trace. So I'll come back in a few minutes. Um, I'm gonna let this sit for 10 or 15 minutes, and then I'll give you an update. I'm just gonna cover it up, and uh, let's see where we're at. Okay.